Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, this is Justin here. Um, I've been getting back into some of my 64 collecting, and uh, a lot of my controllers, I have a few. Uh, the joysticks have been... I mean, the controllers have been used, and the joysticks are really... <laughs> they're sad. Um, I mean, that's just, that's just play. I'm not actually moving the joystick at all. That's just how loose it is also I in, in advance I apologize for the the camera not being great uh, this is just my cell phone it's not a very great cell phone but I wanted to share this and uh, hopefully I can be really thorough and explain uh, how I did this but I'm gonna turn show you how I turned that into this and if you've seen methods where guys are um, rebuilding the bottom of the bowl that the joystick is inside of this is a different method than that and I'm not saying that method is bad but it's not where the issue is coming from that I've gathered so uh, if you give me a sec here um, I'm gonna stop the video and uh, take this one apart and show you what I did to make it like this one I want to touch base on this real quick just in case you're completely new to taking any kind of controllers apart you have uh, seven screws, plain Phillips head, here, and then you have two more down inside the memory card slot. And then you take that off, and then you have one, two, three screws there. And then um, you'll take the Z button off, and then uh, you can use whatever method you want to get this out. I only have one hand right now, but that can either pull out, you can pry it out, however you want to do it. Just be careful not to mess any of the wires up. And then I will um, show you where to go from there. Okay, I got the joystick out. There'll be one screw right there. I've already removed it. I just wanted to leave it in the spot so everyone could see which one. Uh, most of you guys have probably already been here. And if you're watching a video on how to fix the thumbstick, then uh, you, you've probably already been through this process. And I, this one I haven't even opened up, so I don't know how ridiculous it's going to be inside. Bear with me, because I don't have any kind of way to hold my phone up. You'll do it to undo two clips on the back here. Sorry about that. And that shows you the inside. This is what we're going to be looking at right here. The rest of this, it's actually not bad, it's down at the bottom. This is the part that people are trying to fix. I'm not saying that's bad, but the reason that you guys, or, or people that are fixing them that way, and this is really hard to focus, um, this bowl here. The reason that it's punching them through that is because of that black piece right there is getting worn down. My fix for that is this little guy right here. That is a rubber seal for a Traxxas RC car. I'm even going to give you the number. If you don't know what Traxxas is, if you're not familiar with it, if you're in the RC world, you definitely know Traxxas. It's a great entry level uh, for the money, ready to run cars. Um, that's how you spell Traxxas. You can go to their website. And the part number for that is right here. 2362 Shock Rebuild Kit for two shocks, $2.50. And if I am remember right, I believe that's going to come with three seals for each shock, so you'll be getting six right there for $2.50, which is enough to fix six controllers. Um, I'm going to take this apart here. All you got to do is twist that, take this off, and then I'm going to set that aside. You can see how much that's eaten into. That's what is letting your joystick sag and not have any spring to it. Like I said, this is hard because I'm doing it one-handed, but basically what you'll do, clean all that out of there, uh, like all the powder and the, and the 
from the plastic grounded on each other. And then you're going to take, I think I just lost it. I have another one here. You're going to take this seal here, if I can get it out. I'm not very prepared for this video, I apologize. But you will have everything you need. You take that, and you take this, and I'm going to try to do this one-handed. And just put that on there like that, and it makes a very nice spacer. Now that is rubber, so you're going to run into one problem. I'm going to put this back in there and show you how much it snugs it up. Now you have that cushion there. Now since that is rubber, it will kind of grab a little bit. So we also have this, and I'm sure you could use any kind. This is just what my brother happens to have. It's a... Uh, Epic, it's a bearing and bushing oil for the motors and bearings for our RC cars. Has a very narrow tube on it, and that's tiny. And all you need to do is just touch that down inside there and uh, lube that up. And also on your four corners here, you really can't see on my phone, and I hate that. There you go. You see the indents, that's where the, the rockers lay. Put you a couple drops there on all four of those, and when you put it back together, it should be as tight as this green one. No gluing in the bottom, because once you raise this back up, you won't be digging into the bottom of that anymore, and it doesn't matter. When you fill that up with glue, what I would imagine would happen is uh, you're going to be grinding the bottom of this back on that again, and eventually it'll wear out. These here, I don't have a long-term... Uh, answer for you on how long it will last. I know I did put it through some pretty rough Mario Kart testing and this thing is just perfect. It was a little sticky at first because like I said it was rubber. Rubber on plastic it kind of grips. So that's why I took it apart and put this uh, this bearing oil on there. Not a whole lot. I mean just a tiny bit. Very few drops of that stuff because you don't want it just filling up the inside of your controller. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Clean this one up a little bit, put some oil on that little rubber bushing there, put it all back together, and uh, show you the difference of how it was from the beginning of the video. Okay, here's a quick view for you real quick. Um, if you see that little bit of a blue there, that is one of those rubber seals in between the black cradle and the ball on the thumbstick. That's where you're getting your slack from. That's what's causing it to chew up the bottom of the bowl there. The bowl itself isn't the issue, is what I believe. This catches the most pressure, especially games like Mario Party, where you're just really bearing down on that joystick. You're rubbing against that black cradle there. And this rubber bushing here is going to cushion that. And after I added a little bit, I mean, you can see it's kind of shiny. I just put some drops, not very many, of that uh, bearing lube. And then I put it in the notches where this rotates and it, it already feels better. So just to show you that I'm not giving you anything fake here, you can see how much wear is really in that. If it wasn't that much wear, I wouldn't be able to fit that in there that way. That black cradle is really worn down. I'm going to try my best to put this back together while you're still watching. everything lined up here. If you've never took apart an N64 controller before, uh, take pictures if you need to or just remember how everything goes. Uh, me, I've, I've done it enough uh, even with that one and the first few times I tried to fix one and then I got to look in and I figured out what the problem was. But anyways, I'm going to snap that back together if it'll go. I really shouldn't be doing this one handed but okay, snap that back in. Let me see if I can. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. I really do apologize for this. I really have no way of keeping this held together. 
and film at the same time. So for the sake of time, I won't put the controller all the way back together. But I will show you right now that that gray controller with the wobbling stick is now just like that. Spring tight. I mean, it has no play whatsoever. It, it does, but I'm actually moving the controller right there. It, I mean, it springs right back to the center every time. No, no waiting for glue to dry. This was literally, um, besides the in-between time that you didn't see me taking apart screws and such, this is probably a 15-minute process. No uh, filling in glue and accidentally getting too much. And I'm not taking any way, anything away from these guys. That's a great idea. And uh, this might have already been addressed. I don't know. Someone else may have done this exact same thing. If they have, I'm not trying to steal their idea. I just wanted to let everybody know that... I mean, that thing, that thing is great. That turned out just as good as the green one, and this was my worst controller. This controller has been in my possession for years and years since I was a young kid. And it got uh, pretty much retired because it was so bad nobody could really play anything with it. Uh, once again, that number is, uh, where is it at? Focus. Shock Rebuild Kit. 2362. For $2.50, you should get about six of those little blue rings. And that is from the company Traxxas, if you're not familiar with it. Traxxas.com will take you there where you need to be. And, um, and the number that I just gave you on the shocks, one more time, 2362. So $2.50 and a little bit of time and an extra three or four bucks for any kind of bearing oil. Uh, and you're good to go. I'm going to get this thing put back together and I hope this helped someone. So that's it for now and uh, let me know what you think.